Today's confession from the killer of young mother Rachel Nickell on Wimbledon Common brings to a close one of the most damning episodes in Scotland Yard's history. It's a long saga of errors by police, lawyers and forensic scientists, all of which is now admitted. It has taken paranoid schizophrenic Robert Knapper 16 years to admit to killing Rachel. Mr Knapper has been found guilty of Rachel's murder. That means in total he has murdered two women, one child, raped at least one woman and attempted to rape two others. We sincerely hope, whatever the court says, that he will spend the rest of his life in a totally secure environment to protect all other people. Napa was caught after a second killing, butchering another young mum, Samantha Bissett, and her daughter, Jasmine. All his victims could be alive today, detectives now admit. Several times they had Napa in their clutches, but they let him go. Now held at Broadmoor Secure Hospital, Napa is likely to spend the rest of his life behind bars. What he did to these women must have given him a great deal of pleasure but it was horrendous and to my mind it just shows that the man was totally depraved and I don't think you can ever give a reason for anything that that man would have, has done. Forensic science finally solved the Wimbledon Common murder. Four years ago, these scientists retrieved a tiny trace of Napa's DNA from a swab taken of Rachel's thigh. They found more vital evidence that other scientists had missed. Another strand concerned some paint that was found in the hair of her son that could have come from the toolbox belonging to Robert Knapper. And the third strand involved a, a partial footwear mark which could have been made by one of his shoes and was found near the scene on Wimbledon Common. Robert Knapper grew from an angelic eight-year-old into a sex monster who terrorised his neighbourhood. He raped victims along a string of footpaths linking woods and commons, the Green Chain Walk in south-east London. The first rape in 1989, Napa confessed to his mother. She called police, but they could find no trace of the attack. Nothing was done about him. Three years later, he killed Rachel Nickell in a frenzied knife attack on Wimbledon Common. A month after that, Napa was questioned as a potential rape suspect. He offered to give a blood test, but failed twice to turn up. Nothing was done about him. In October that year, Napa was actually arrested after trying to print Scotland Yard notepaper. At his flat, police found an A to Z atlas with marks against the rape sites, and there were weapons. He was jailed briefly for having a gun, but nothing else was done. In July the next year, Napa was caught climbing a woman's fence. He told police he was out for a walk. Nothing was done about him. Four months later, Napa killed Samantha Bissett and her daughter Jasmine. Criminal profiler Paul Britton worked on both the murder investigations. In his book, he suggested the killings weren't connected, but now... Eventually, we were looking at three separate murder investigations and rape inquiries. Each team has its own strong tribal interior working, and as it happens, I worked with all three of them. What they weren't willing to do was to recognise that they were linked. Their position was very simple. You are wrong in that. We want you to help us in these other areas. Scotland Yard has apologised to Colin Stagg. He was the suspect charged with Rachel's murder after an eyewitness wrongly identified him. Detectives used a beautiful undercover policewoman to try to lure him into a confession. It didn't work, but Mr Stagg spent 13 months in prison before a judge threw out the case. I need to and must set the record straight with regard to Colin Stagg. In August 1993, he was wrongly accused of Rachel's murder. It is clear that he is completely innocent of any involvement in that case. And I today apologise to him for the mistakes that were made in the early 1990s. We also acknowledge that there are other cases where more could and should have been done. Had more been done, we would have been in a position to have prevented this and other very serious attacks by Napa. Scotland Yard finally solved both crimes, but has had to admit just how badly it failed the victims and their families.